what's going on people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are all doing well today and welcome back to Chelsea News, the series where I look around Chelsea Football Club news headlines, consolidate what's good and present it to you guys while also presenting you my opinion on said subjects. And today we're going to be talking about three stories. First being Big Willy Caballero has signed a contract extension. Chelsea have triggered a clause within his contract so he stays for one more year. I swear this dude's about to be like 46 but I guess it's a good thing given the financial climate so we're going to talk about that. An Italian publication reports that Chelsea are putting in work to secure the signature of Kai Havertz. Do we believe it? I'm not so sure, but there's a figure of £107 million being mentioned, which to be honest, he's a baller, kind of makes sense, but are people spending £107 million in this transfer window where everyone is going to be broke? I don't know, but I love the player. I did a video on him yesterday, so you should go check that out. No, I did a video on him today. Wait, where am I? What day is it? Yeah, today. Today was the last video, so go check it out. And uh, finally, it's been reported that Chelsea are leading the race for a Barcelona youngster. A Dutch centre-back. That is supposedly quite good. Is he the kind of player Chelsea need to bolster their defence? Another promising youngster? I don't know personally, but we'll talk about him as well. So a quick reminder to you guys watching, if you like daily updates and you'd want to see more, why not subscribe to Football Therapy if you've not yet done so? Hit that notifications icon and also why not like the video as well to help me out that would mean a lot all right let's get into it let's start with Willy Caballero he's been good for Chelsea I suppose he is a really good shot stopper man I don't think anyone would deny that about Caballero he's an excellent shot stopper I think he's around 39 now Ugh. I know goalkeepers go on for longer, but come on, bro. It's the Premier League. Like, we don't need Zimmer frames up between the goalposts, right? I mean, I'm only semi playing, but dude is old. Anyway, he's a good shot stopper. He's very good at saving penalties. We know the problem with Willy Caballero is he has these incredibly mental moments when he runs out of his goal. Only recently he's done it again as well when he was put into the Chelsea team before Kepa was reinstated. Looked alright for a few games and then just has these mental moments. He's a good backup goalkeeper. So it is good that Chelsea have him for one more year as a good backup goalkeeper. I was adamant that Chelsea were going to sign a new backup keeper this summer and that backup keeper might be someone good enough to challenge Kepa if needed. But I suppose, I don't know, it's difficult to sort of decipher what this means. Does this mean no one's, no extra keepers are coming in? Kepa has the faith of the manager for at least one more season and to be honest he, sh he deserves that, he's a very good talented goalkeeper that obviously was going for a dismal run of form. You know for some people that might be enough to bin him off essentially in delicate terms because if you can't hold form for like long enough stints then you know you probably aren't good enough for Chelsea but we'll have to see what happens. In terms of natural ability I think Kepa has it. So there could be that, Kepa stays, Caballero stays the backup. Great, I suppose. Either that, or alternatively, there is a kitty for a goalkeeper, and it's all going on a first-team goalkeeper to replace Kepa Aretha Balaga. I think that's highly doubtful now because of the situation. I think goalkeepers stay as they are, in my opinion. So, the money will be spent elsewhere on the football pitch, if indeed much money is spent. But could it be as much as £107 million for Bundesliga superstar Kai Havertz. The 20 year old German has been in excellent form for a long long time now. Obviously in the opening weekend of the return of the Bundesliga he scored a lovely brace for Bayer Leverkusen playing against Werder Bremen and yeah people are talking about him again. Now the last video I uploaded was talking about the player and how he could be a perfect candidate to bolster Chelsea's attack and could even play in the number nine position so if you haven't watched that video I'd urge you to go and watch it. But like I said at the top of the video an Italian publication called Calcio Magato or Calcio or Calcio Machato, Machato. Uh. They're saying Chelsea have intensified their efforts to bring the 20 year old German to Stamford Bridge. The publication reports that Bayer Leverkusen would demand a fee between 89 million pounds up to 107 million pounds. Which obviously would smash Chelsea's transfer record which was 71, 72 million pounds for Kepa Arida Balaga. Uh, last summer. Damn, it seems longer ago than a year now. 
crazy times. Anyway, the truth is, the fact remains that Chelsea were probably intending on breaking this transfer record this summer, all things being normal. They did want to make a statement signing, they do have certain funds cooped up from, you know, sales of players, um, just in generally, they planned on a big rebuild, perhaps one marquee signing, one big player. Certainly journalists close to Chelsea Football Club were implying this. This could have been a Kai Havertz for 100 million thereabouts, but pandemic. That's right, people's plans do change in a global crisis. Of course, everyone's taken a financial hit in loads of different ways actually, certainly big football clubs. They've got big, big outgoings and plans might have big, big changes. I still wouldn't be surprised if Chelsea made some form of marquee signing, especially to bolster the attack. Obviously, you could see Hakim Ziyech as a relatively marquee signing because he's a big superstar, really, but perhaps one more. Kai Havertz would be a good suitor because he can play in a cam, uh, you know, wide forward or indeed a striker, which he's actually played very well as a striker over in the Bundesliga, which is not too dissimilar to the Premier League, really. So will Chelsea buy Kai Havertz? I'm not so sure, but that's the story coming out from Italy. I'll keep you posted. Obviously, check by Football Therapy every single day for updates. Right, Chelsea apparently leading the way to signing a Barcelona teenager, 18-year-old, <coughs> Javier Umbayamba. Umbayamba. Hmm. I think I got it. Teenage Dutchman, Apparently a sensation at centre-half, plays for the Netherlands under-19s and plays for the youth at Barcelona. Now, being a youth team player, a simpleton like me does not have access to any metrics regarding the players' performances, but I can cite an article talking about how Chelsea are going in for him. Chelsea are leading the race to sign Barcelona defender Javier Umbayamba. That's according to the player's agent Carlos Barros, who claims several European giants are interested in the talented 18-year-old teenager. Quote, almost all major clubs in Europe have asked about Javier. Barris told Votbol International. Real Madrid are also there. They are serious about their youth system, but that would have been, of course, a sensitive switch. As in, you know, Barcelona to Real Madrid. Not always the easiest transfer, is it? Juventus and Inter are interested, as are top clubs from Germany and England. Chelsea have the best papers. Of course, we've discussed this extensively last year. Chelsea gave a fantastic presentation. There is a unique football atmosphere there. Sounds pretty good to me. You immediately sit with the first team players during lunch and the club has outlined a very ambitious plan for Javier. Chelsea obviously have the youth team in the academy very, very close to the first team. They train not far away and that walk they try and shorten every day that Frank Lampard and Jody Morris is at the club. They really think that in one or two years he can be in the first team. Frank Lampard has of course already proven that he is not afraid to play the young players. Being in the starting lineup at Chelsea at the age of 20 would, of course, be great. And to be honest, is that unrealistic? No, not really. If he's really highly rated now at 18, and, you know, Frank Lampard's giving 18-year-olds debuts in the first team as it is, two years training with the youth, dropping in with the first team, training with the first team, yes, he could be starting for Chelsea. It's not the most radical, you know, thing ever. Sure, Chelsea do kind of have problems in defence, and a lot of people think those problems would be solved by dropping in a superstar now, whether that's a senior player to like, you know, rally the back line, or perhaps it's the likes of someone like Deo Apamecano, who to be honest, I personally can see going to like Manchester City or even Liverpool. I don't think Chelsea have the ability to get him just yet, although of course I would love him at Chelsea Football Club. Still, we'll have to see what happens. Perhaps, you know, even though it's not too much of a glamorous, exciting signing right now, two years down the line where you potentially have the best centre-half or up-and-coming centre-half in English football, you'd be darn happy Chelsea made that inquiry. So we'll have to see what happens. Of course, I'll keep you guys updated, but I want your comments on the stories I've spoken about in today's video. So get down in the comment section below and express yourself. I'll be down there reading your comments, so I look forward to hearing your insight. And if you've enjoyed the content today, guys, please do like the video. That means a lot. Remember to subscribe to Football Therapy if you are new. Also, you're welcome to follow me on social media at Football Yannick. That's it from me today, guys. You enjoy the football that's slowly starting to begin again, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. 
trouble And my life seen trouble Hustle on the double Silence on the trigger Like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle Bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper Sorry I don't I let me 